Welcome back to M3 Wood. I'm here on the couch in the M3 Wood headquarters. You can see we got some putters behind us, some stuff up there, some memorabilia. But I got two special guests here. These are my my children, my son Abe and my daughter Addie. Anything to tell the folks? <laughs> I just wanted to speak in the microphone. Just want to talk in the mic. So we have them here. I threw out a tweet earlier today. Um, I think there's a lack of videos out there talking about some of the golf lingo and vocabulary. So I thought, you know what? Why not bring back the kids? Uh, they've been on the channel before. There's been a kids trivia out there with Chad's kids as well. We had a match play go between us. Hole number one goes to the daddy. <laughs> Let's go! Seven irons! Seven, seven irons gone? You so, have. I have my six iron, my nine iron, and my pitching wedge. Alright, we got the champs right here. So, uh, check that video out. So what I'm going to do is there are actually three rounds each consisting of five questions. First four, I will be asking them a golf term and they have to define it for a point. The last one or the fifth question, they will, I will be asking them a question they must answer for trivia. So um, first round's all worth one point. You guys ready? You have to yell out par. 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 Okay, par. you ready? So here we go. Your first golf term, birdie. What is a birdie? I got three. No, you need to be more specific because not every hole is it a three. Par three. Par three. So you think it's a three on a par three? Yeah. You think that's what a birdie is? No. A bird. I know. It's you... a flying bird in the air. <laughs> Boy, this is going to be a rough, rough game show if they don't even know what a birdie is. Question two. What is... A mulligan. A oh, par. Abe? It's another shot. Uh, be more specific. Hit par. You hit a shot, and then it's a bad shot, so you say mulligan, and then you get another shot. That is correct. We'll be keeping track right up here. So Abe has a point. A uh, mulligan is when you retake the shot, retake. or you take a second shot. Okay. Um, all right. Question number three. Okay. What is a gimme? Par. Par. A gimme, a, <laughs> a gimme is like, it's like, it's like, it's like, gimme, gimme, gimme. it's like a gimme, and you take away a, a stroke. Say what? Far, far, far. That is incorrect. Par, 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 Here we go, par, Abe. What? A gimme is when you're close, when you're a club length away from the hole, and that's called a gimme, so you get it. We'll give it to him. So a gimme is when you are so close to the hole, so close to the hole, you do not need to putt it. They'll just say, all right, you can make that. You don't need to putt it. It's a way to save time. Ugh. Now, yes, the stroke still counts. So you still have to count as a stroke. So if you reach the green in three, you're close enough to the flag stick where your partner says, hey, that's a gimme. That's four strokes, okay? So it just saves time. You don't have to putt it. Some people tell you, hey, it's good. Pick it up. It's a gimme along those lines, okay? So Abe is up two to nothing, two to nothing. Don't worry, it's early in the game, Addy. What is match play? Par. It is when you play against someone. Big. That's it? Yeah. Just when you play against someone? Yes. That is incorrect. This is you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. It's actually one of the harder, easy questions. Addy, do you have an attempt at an answer? Match play. Um, is it like, Nope. No, but I like where your head's at. That could be a fun game later on in the I channel. Know. Huh? Using one club only. I like that. Um, it's also, this is a submitted answer, but it's not when you're trying to light fires. <laughs> like matches, kids. <laughs> I think my dad's gone crazy. No, match play is actually when you play each individual hole as one point. Instead of playing nine holes as a stroke player, you keep track of every stroke, 
you just get a point per hole. We've had a lot of different videos on the channel. Okay, last question around one. This is an actual question now, okay? So eight is up two to zero. The question is, what is the number one golf YouTube channel? Fire up. Um, is it like, uh, I forget their names. Uh, no, no. You, you, you don't know the, the best YouTube channel for golf? Par. I, I know they have like 10,000 subscribers. Par. Like, like, yeah. Par. You think so? Par. I don't know. Par. Time is up. Par. Ah! Huh? Green jacket. That's incorrect. You guys don't know what the best YouTube golf channel is? No, but they don't have a ton of subscribers. Dude, perfect? They don't, even, dude, they don't even, they're not a golf channel. Maybe like, uh, it's got these two guys on it. Um, one's good at golf, one's good looking. Oh, there it was! It was M3 Wood! Boy, that's really embarrassing when your own children don't guess you as the best YouTube golf channel out there. Who's the... Who's, <laughs> a, who's a good looking guy? Chad? Well, see, Chad's good at golf, so naturally. Yeah, yeah now. Remember, round two, this is a bit harder. These are medium. She's, she's covering your eyes so you can't hear the answer. <laughs> Wait a second, what? Number two. What is... A stinger. A stinger is like when you hit it and it like hooks like over like it like uh, slices and then you and then it like stings your hand. That's incorrect. Pardon. Can't knock the hustle. Um, it's when like I think it's when you hit you hit the ball so hard that it shakes the whole club. That's incorrect as well. Seems though like you guys got baseball on the mind. They're referring to more when you hit the ball and like the bat maybe shakes in your hand and it stings it. But a stinger, actually, if you ever follow the real Zach Raffer, he hits amazing stinger shots. When you hit the ball and it stays on a low rope and kind of travels very on a low trajectory, but still travels about the same distance. Sometimes on dry days, it even gets more of a rollout. Um, it's just a really cool looking shot. It's typically used if you're trapped by some trees, or maybe some obstacles and you gotta hit a low stinger to run through there. So a stinger is a low running shot. What is an ace? Park. It's like, um, it's like a hole in That is correct! Oh, I knew what that was! It is a hole in one. Somebody on this couch has an ace. Hands up if you have an ace. That is correct, Addy has an ace. So Addy now has taken the lead three to two. Okay, so here we go, last question. Last question of round two. Wait, how many okay? rounds are there? There are three rounds. Woo! Last question of round two. So here we go. What do you get to put on when you win the Masters? Park. You get to put on. I don't know what you get to put on. I know you get a trophy and a lot. You get like all. Oh, it's a crown. Oh, no. That's incorrect, Daddy. It's uh, <laughs> like. I can't demonstrate. It's a golden hat. Hey, you need to stop guessing or I'm going to disqualify you from the game. Oh. I will kick you out of this game show. It's it just like a hat with no uh, top on it like this. It's no top and you get a trophy and a lot of money. A no top hat? Boy, I want to see what that hat looks like. But that is incorrect. Like that. Oh, you mean a visor. Yeah. Oh, see. That is. I'm picturing like a hat with like the top blown out. You know, like a home alone or something with that torch. Hit him and set his hat on fire. That's what I'm picturing as a trophy for the Masters. No, folks, you actually get to wear a green jacket. You put on a green jacket. Um, the Masters is typically one of the favorite um, PGA majors out there. So if you hear any of your buddies talking about, hey, I got to wear a green jacket, maybe they're referring to the Masters. So currently, right now, as we enter into the final round, round three, where each point is worth, each question is worth five points. Addy has three points and Abe has two. What is Dormy? Par? <laughs> Not real par. confident on the pars. We'll go par. to Addy first. Par. Um, a Dormy is it like. Uh, that's my phone, so I switched it. I love it. Um, a Dormy. When you shut the door and you <laughs> hit the golf club at the same time. Oh, it's not when you shut the door and hit the golf club at the same time. What a great attempt. Thanks. I don't know what it is. I'm just kidding. I bet it's when you hit a golf ball really straight and you go super close to uh, 
starts to check back on you and roll back. Not a bad description, and it does happen in golf often, but not called a dormy. Ah! A dormy is actually in match play when one opponent has won so many holes that the other opponent must win every hole in match play from there on out. So for example, let's say I was up three holes with three holes to go against you guys. You guys would be on dormy, meaning you must win all three holes after that. Number three, you guys may know what this is, okay? What is an albatross? I'm gonna go first. A first. Oh no! Keep grinding! You come back here and she'll kill you! One shot and you and it goes in the hole and then you say, I got an albatross. Please I'm gonna let Addie describe her attempt at albatross and we'll see who is closer. It is um, when you hit a shot, the shot from the tee, and it goes in the hole. So you pretty much just described exactly what Abe described. All right, so neither of you are correct. What? Okay? Now, let's break it down for you. Let's t let me tell you why they think that's what an albatross is. So in Operation 36, which is a great program, I highly recommend it for kids if you have it around your area, they play as every hole is a par four, and they play at varying distances. So when they hit a hole in one, it's actually an albatross. Okay. Ah. Three shots under par. So albatross is three shots under par, but anything can change with these last two questions. Here we go. Your fourth turn. What is a slice? Oh, 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 oh. Abe said par first. A slice is when you hit the ball and it like, um, it like slices to the right or the left. It like curves. You need to tell me which way it slices. Uh, towards the body or away from the body? Away from the body. Away from the body is correct. That is correct. No! Okay, so a slice is when you hit the ball and in the air, the ball moves away from the body. Ava's now taking the lead seven to three. So she, she's on a dormy right now. Correct. She needs to get this. Okay, number five. You guys may actually know this answer. Okay, this is the last and final question of the entire show. Here we go. Who is the most hated PGA par, Tour par, player? Par, par, par. Addie said par first. I said like <coughs> Dustin Johnson. That is incorrect. Uh, a? It's the guy who stops his balls before uh, they roll and then stop. Oh, curly hair guy. Do you have a guess at a name? No. I do Ricky Fowler. No, Ricky Fowler is actually quite liked. Ricky Fowler is actually the one, if he wins, my dad will cut his mullet off. That's correct. Now, how about the most hated PGA Tour player? John Adams. Or John something. John Adams was a president. Patrick Green. I hate that guy. That is correct, A. What? The answer no. is Patrick Reed. We hate that guy. Oh, we hate him. And many people think that Patrick Reed is actually, uh, it's just an opinion, people don't like him. However, there was a survey that was posted out, it was confidential for PGA Tour players, and Patrick Reed was the most hated player on tour. No, we don't no, hate, hate, hate him. So, the final standings are Addy ringing in with three points, Abe ringing in with 12 points. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the, the game show. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit. Those of you that don't know some of the golf lingo, maybe you picked up a couple things. If you enjoyed it, comment below and maybe throw some words that you want me to trivia or uh, quiz these kids with and we can see how well they actually know the game of golf. If you enjoyed the video, what do they need to do? Subscribe and smash that like button. <laughs>
Like roll and then stop. Oh, curly so. hair guy. Three. It's a three. Box. I know. It's yeah. a flying bird in the air. 